Welcome to MedTech Byte, presented by EMC Square of AMTZ. In this episode, we are going to cover the startup ecosystem. So if you are a startup, this is a very important episode for you. Do watch and share it with your friends. So now to know more about this ecosystem, MediValley, we have the CEO of MediValley Incubation Center, Mr. Dilip Chekuri himself present here to talk about it. Welcome to MedTech Bike. Thank you, Remy. First of all, very congratulations for getting recognized by Niti Aayog as one of the top performing incubator across India among 60 plus AICs. Of course, it's a very good feeling. Definitely. So, um, coming to the interview session today, so you know, the startup ecosystem or the community are looking for always a constant support in funding, yes. mentorship, access to market and few more things and I think all the other incubation centers and hubs across India are doing similar kind of thing. How do you see that AIC Medivalley is different than them? So I will come to that point later. Uh, before that I want to tell about the genesis of it. Definitely. So AIC AMTZ Medivalley is an innovation arm and Atal Incubation Center is a flagship program of Atal Innovation Mission established by government of India to support innovators and entrepreneurs. So we specifically focuses on medical technology startups where this is a platform where we nurture startups, innovators, researchers to work on the medical cutting edge medical technologies to develop and place in the market. Great. So how do you see it is different than any other incubation hub? If I say key features, um, Probably the first one will be the uh, labs we have. So we have uh, PCT lab, which is pre-compliance testing lab. We have mechatronics lab. We have electronics lab. So they are accessible on the same floor. So when they develop the product at any level of product development, they can access those labs and get tested or do tinkering with it. So basically you're talking about uh, the technical infrastructure that you're providing in the same floor, which becomes very easy for them if they just want to quick test something with that prototype that they want to quick test, they can just go to the lab and can do it, right? That's true. Yeah. So what is the second one? Second one, if I want to mention, it will be technology transfer platform where once any startup do the product development mm -hmm. and they want to scale up before that if they want to choose for technology transfer we have a platform which is provided by Kalam Institute of Health Technology where they can place the technology where we handhold them to do the transfer with all the legal formalities. Great. So uh, startups who are into the space that you're looking for technology transfer and you don't want to drive it further by yourself then he's the man to contact. So what is the other one? So. After that, the step comes the scale-up. Mm -hmm. If any uh, startup would like to go for um, batch production, mm -hmm. then where we have AMTZ ecosystem, where the uh, readily available infrastructure is available and the support for the capital equipment is available, mm -hmm. where they can go for mass scale production and place in the market. So basically the manufacturing that you're talking about, that they can go into bulk production and manufacturing and penetrate the market. Yes. Oh, great. Yes. And anything else, any other feature? So the most important feature is AMTZ itself because of its global network, which gives an edge to startups to get international exposure. Yes, that's a very important point. So if you know that AMTZ has a lot of international collaborations, one of the very important one is with WHO, where we are the collaborating center for innovation in health technology. We have many uh, university collaborations um, internationally, and there are multiple that you can access in our website. So thank you so much for so much of information and uh, helping the startups. Anything else you would like to add? Thank you so much. Rina.